7-Eleven robbery caught on security video ends quickly when guard walks in. Two men were robbing a 7-Eleven in New Jersey when their worst nightmare walked in. The robbers jacked up the store clerk, jumped behind the counter, and began robbing the store. They scared the guy working. They were evil in their robbery, making the guy fear for his life. It's a shame that a guy working for small wages has to deal with such horrible thug behavior. There he was, just minding his own business, making sure the hot dogs were rolling, the slurpee machine is working, and then the bad guys showed up. It was just an ordinary night for a 7-Eleven employee, right? Wrong. The criminals thought they had it going on, but then a security guard walks in. They didn't know it, but this guy was their worst nightmare coming to life. The big burly security guard brandished his weapon ever so calmly. He examined the situation. He pointed his firearm. He fired a shot. He hit one of the robbers in the arm and pointed his weapon at the other. One of the criminals screamed that his gun was fake. That didn't matter. The big bad security guard was not in the mood to hear some skinny guy robbing a store crying like a whiny baby. If you're bad enough to rob a store, then you better not cry when someone fights back. Next, the guard jumps over the counter and forces both criminal robbers to the ground. The guard lets out a few funny words and blasts them with his sarcastic humor. The suspects laid out on the floor whimpering, scared, and regretting everything they just did to the guy who was working. Leo Affairs reports The incident took place earlier this month at a Hamilton 7-Eleven, when two armed robbers attempted to hold up the establishment. Their hooded sweatshirts cinched down tight to conceal their identities. Jumping over the counter and brandishing a firearm, the two men began taking what they want when they are suddenly confronted by a top flight security officer who had a no nonsense approach to such thuggery. Walking into the store, the officer drew his service length revolver and fired twice at the gunman, advancing forward to engage the second robber as the store clerk ran to safety. It's fake. It's fake. The gunman screamed, referencing his firearm as he writhed on the floor in agony. Oh well, the baritone voice security officer said with an attitude akin to Ving Rhames in Pulp Fiction. Mine is real. Ordering the men to the ground, the security officer squared up against them as the clerk notified the authorities. It's fake? They tried robbing a store with a fake gun. Then a guy with a real gun walks in and they cower. Did you hear that, punk? mine is real. He said. The suspect who was shot in the arm learned the hard way. The security guard who saved the day is a great shot. He hit the suspect right in the arm, avoiding any chance of killing the robber. Now the two criminals will face the justice system and likely go to prison for a very long time. The video evidence of the crime in action is impressive. You can see and hear everything that makes you want to cheer for the guard as he blasts a hole in the suspect and then forces both of them onto the floor. This guard is a huge guy. He looks like Debo from Friday, but apparently a lot smarter, better shot, and a crime stopper instead of a crime starter. The 7-Eleven employee must have been shocked when the two guys robbed him. He probably thought they were going to shoot him. Then a strange turn of events occurs and the security guard walks in. Then shots fired, blood on the counter, two robbers on the ground, and a security guard cracking sarcastic one-liners like he's doing stand-up at the Apollo. If you want to watch a crime video that looks like a scene from a movie, then here it is. Just remember, this is real life and people were in danger. The following video includes someone being shot and displays blood pouring out of his criminal body. This heroic act of bravery took place at a 7-Eleven in Hamilton, New Jersey. The store clerk just witnessed something unusual and is luckily safe from the criminals. Thankfully this worked out for the best, as fighting crime is not suggested for everyone. Everyone.